Wait, wait a second now. We're at, we're at Anthony's Coffee Shop. What, what do you call this? Uh, this is Anthony's Golden Cup Coffee Shop. Yeah. Uh, uh, who's, who's this Anthony guy? Where's he at? Uh, uh, Anthony's Golden Cup. He's a old man of 76 years old sitting here with you. And really? I got my little shop now for 22 years. I used to work for a coffee company before I started off my own little thing. Uh -huh. For 35 years I was working for one of the best coffee coffee companies here in Cape Town. The uh -huh. first company that used to sell good pure coffee uh -huh. in the Western Cape. When you say good pure coffee, what does that mean? Where did this coffee come from? Yeah, coffee, I mean, most of this coffee come from Africa, like Ethiopia, and Burundi, and Zimbabwe, and, and lots of Ethiopians, and different coffees from all Africa, well, is, Zambia. Is it a myth? They tell me that, but they tell me that Kenyan coffee is supposed to be the best. Who's the best ah, coffee? Yes, we always say Kenya is the king, but Colombian is the queen. The Ethiopian is the princess. Now, the yeah, Colombian, uh, Kenya is the king, and uh, and and Colombian is the queen. But uh, Ethiopian the princess. So the three coffees, I tell you, <laughs> it can. And you have it all here. On I got street. it all. I do my own roasting. Really? Yeah, I do all the blending and everything. So um, I, I know you know when. 1995, you know, the time when I was, when we was very hooked under some circumstances that we can't do this and we can't do that. Uh -huh. But when old Mandela came from prison, I thought, God, I've been long enough in prison too. Please they leave me. And I just walked out of my old job and, and started off my own business. Really? Now, where were you? You weren't in this location. You wasn't on Loop Street then. You were in I was in Long Street. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Long Street. We had Lou Long Street, Loop Street, Old Street, Castle Street around. Mm -hmm. sort of mid Cape Town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know you are. And I always say I, I can open my little shop in the middle of Cape Town for all the con coffee connoisseurs mm -hmm. that likes it, so they can find me. One like you that sits here now. Yeah, but you know I, me, I, I'm, I'm doing my hot chocolate with a little bit of coffee in it because I'm a hot chocolate guy. Uh, you know? but, but you have that too. But uh, I have it now and then. But um, I like to serve whatever someone asked me. Over the years, I had picked up quite a few tips from all over the world, people coming here and telling me stories about coffee. Really? And yeah, because I got customers all over the world, I must admit that. And I think my face is all over where I've never been. And we're, we're, we're like from, we're all over the world. <laughs> Indonesia, where? Tell me where. Tell me where. Uh, give me some places. Yeah. Some far away places yeah. that we wouldn't know about. It's like North Carolina, America, lots of Americans come here. And they think my coffee is as good as Starbucks and anybody. They think mine is even better. And um, Do you get any people from like, Thailand? Thailand. Or Japan, um, from India, from Canada. We get people coming here every year for about three months mm. to Cape Town to come and it's like their second home. Mm. And the first thing when they land here and they know my coffee shop, the first one they come and visit is me. And it's always like, if they don't come, it looks like it's, uh, our date is out of <laughs> Well, let me, let me ask you, can, can, I, can I call you Mr. Anthony? Yeah. Okay, well, Mr. Anthony, let me ask you something. Now, you have all this knowledge, but have you, are you passing it on to somebody else? What are you, are you, I don't want to say, I'm not going to call you out and say, are you being selfish, but are, who, who else knows this? Who's going to, who, who continues your, your, your lineage, your, your knowledge? I, I got three sons. Mm. They're busy with their own little thing, but I got a one son, giving him a few good lessons about coffee. I know the old style I'm going on now. I 
think if we're going to move in, he's going to want to change maybe a bit of a, And I don't want them to change while I'm still around. Yeah. So I, I know there is someone that will take it a little bit further for the next few years. Well, you do know what they say. They say that when you have children, it's not that it's not your own. Your, 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 it's like your grand. It, it skips a generation. It's like your grandchildren. Now, do you have a grandchild that may be more interested than anybody else that can bring it back? I got a grand, two grandsons that can take over. They about 22, and I got half. I got great grandchildren also. As I sit here, I got two of them, but I don't think I will. <laughs> well, I know you, you shouldn't take advice from me, but I would suggest. Now, this is just a, you don't, like I said, don't take advice from me. But you work on the grandchildren, the 22 year old, somebody in there, they say, hey, bring them along. They oh. might they might be able, they might have your jump genes, you know, and uh, be more interested than your sons. You uh, say, I'm, that's, I'm just saying. Thank you. I'm just, so glad you sort of, uh, uh, sort of, sort of um, break my, my brains, but I, I can think of this much more uh, logically and make it the point. Yeah, but you, can, yeah. you see, the trick is you can't force them. You just gotta say, "Hey, I have, a, I, need, I, I need some help during busy season," and let them hang out. And they see what's going on. Yeah. I don't want to say you have to trick them, but yeah. you know, you gotta do a little. Yeah. You know how old man? Come on, you're a wise old man. You know what to do. <laughs> yes, I think. I think I'm, I am a little bit selfish. I mustn't. Uh, I think I must change a bit there with my little uh, uh, talents that I got in, in coffee. I try to, to carry it over, but I don't think I do enough. Nah, but see, the thing is, I'm trying to say that you're wise, and you you have to come on. You know what they say in Cape Town, especially. You're clever. I know you're more clever than you look. I know you're what we call cunning. So there's a way you can get them grandchildren or somebody else to do what you want to do without saying, do this. Come on, you know how to do that. So tell me you don't know how to do that. E you do know how to do that. E yes, yes, uh -huh. yes, uh -huh. Uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. But, uh, yeah. It's more, it's more of a game. I think you have more fun seeing if this will work than if you keep on saying, oh, they got to do it my way. I, that's, that's only a thought. Like I said, don't listen to me. It's just a thought. Yes, no. I know. And uh, I, I, I think it's so much a part of me. You know, the little shop meeting people like you interesting in a cup of coffee and talk and give me a nice talk about coffees and things. Uh, I get people from all over and from England. The other day, four ladies used to sit in here a month ago and they took everyone, everyone took about a kilo of coffee with them and after a month they, they, they gave me an email and they said Anthony our coffee is gone and we can't find this coffee here. please send us four kilo of so we send four kilo of coffee off to them <laughs> really so wow. these are sort of things that happen very often that people take coffee with them and put me in magazines and people phone me one morning someone phoned me from North Carolina and they, and, and they said please send me some coffee because I read they said my one son is in, Af he's in South Africa and we're going to phone him and tell him to come around and pick up some coffee so that when he comes home and you know so funny this student that was here went out with my granddaughter <laughs> and then when his mom sort of told him what coffee shop she saw in the magazine there he said mommy but you won't believe me but I'm going out with this man's granddaughter <laughs> and so they said you sound very happy there in South Africa why don't you stay there and about two months after that yeah they come in walking and said we come and fetch our own coffee uh, by our shop <laughs> so where is here what's your address here on Loop Street What's the address here on Loop That's 49 Loop Street. 49 Loop Street. 59, sorry. 59 Loop Street. 59 Loop Street. Yeah, 59. Okay. All right. Thanks so much, Mr. Anthony. We appreciate you talking to us a little yes, bit. Yes, I'm Anthony Schwartz. That's my surname. Okay. Uh, thank you for interviewing me.